Hallo iedereen, welkom bij een nieuwe vlog. Mijn naam is Larissa. En je ziet het al wat heel druk bezig. Ik zit hier op mijn band. Leeg te laten. Hè. We gaan dus zo uh, hier weg in dit appartement. En dan gaan we naar Dubrovnik. En we gaan vandaag dus ook de Game of Thrones tour doen. En voor mijn English subscribers. I promised that I would vlog this. That I would go to King's Landing. I said that in my Game of Thrones reaction video. So I'm also going to talk a little bit in English in this vlog. So they can understand too. So I'm just going to talk Dutch. But when I'm... Doing the Game of Thrones tour, I'll talk a little bit English, so it's enough for you to understand. I'm not gonna do this whole vlog in English because that's a little hard vlogging in English, I think. Just gonna talk as much English so you can understand. So don't worry. Hij is een beetje vol, maar ik moet deze hele grote handdoek nog erin zien te krijgen. Hoe ga ik dit doen? I don't know. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. Het enige hier komt nog een beetje touch van mijn tas uit, maar ik heb echt geen zin om hem nu open te maken. Fuck that. I got this. Niks vergeten. Nee, nee, niks. Hier ook niet. De laatste is wel allemaal echt fancy achter gewoon. Hè. Nou, doei appartement. Doei, met een beetje. Dit zal de laatste keer zijn dat we dit mooie smerige paadje lopen. En dat je dan zo komt en dan... Zee. Oh, je zag hem helemaal nog niet eens. Maar we gaan nu dus eerst even koffie drinken. En daarna gaan we dus uh, vertrekken naar Dubrovnik. Kijk hier, dat bedoel ik dus met de zee. Prachtig. Ja, daar achter is best een dik, maar je ziet het Oh, wow, wat back. Fishes. I didn't see that before, maar het water was echt vet helder. Dat was eerst niet. Nee. Elke dag is het weer anders. I don't get it. Nou, mooi uitzicht. Papa? Tot nooit meer. Als je zo alles aan het inpakken bent, dan voelt het eigenlijk net alsof je zeg maar naar huis gaat dus. Maar we gaan dus gewoon nog drie dagen naar die brofnik, dus we gaan helemaal niet naar huis. Maar het voelt zo. Ja, Fabienne, dat zei je ook net. Ja, ja credits naar Fabienne. Ik zei toch credits naar Fabienne? Ja, nou dan. Hier is gewoon een dikke vissenvisa aan de hand. Vissenvisa. Vissenvisa. Ja, vissenvisa. Dit is een vissenvisa. Look at all the fish. What the heck? Een vissa. Een vissa. <laughs> ja, hier is een vissa. Kijk, daar is ook weer een vissa. Ja hoor, ik heb alweer het verkeerde gekregen. Ik zei cola en ik kreeg Sprite. Oké. Okay. Nou ja, pas mooi bij mijn pizza. Ja, is dat nou een zwerfhond of? Nee, dat is nou een zwerfhond. Oh, hallo. De laatste keer dat we deze verschrikkelijke berg op moeten lopen. Can you even? Jongens, met 10 kilometer ijs net uitgekomen. Yes! Die had ik nog niet. Oh, niks. Dat is het enige dat lekker is. Hmm. Nee, het is lekker. Night. Eeuw, springkaan. Is het een springkaan of zo? Wow, kijk die cruise schip allemaal. Wat de heck. Oh my god. Beautiful. King's Landing, bitches. Yeah, we're going there today. Oh my god, we zijn bij het appartement. En het is echt veel mooier dan wat ik verwacht. Hoe kwamen jullie er binnen? Kijk hier. Wow, het is groot. Dude, kijk onze slaapkamer. We hebben nu wel gewoon een eigen kamer en I love it. Grote Fabienne. Ja. Yeah. Hier is nog een kamer. Oh, hier zijn twee bedden. What? Fucking bed. De badkamer. Heet die toch? Ja hoor, Fabienne ziet snoepjes staan. Jij zegt snoepjes. Oh ja, ik pak wel een snoepje. Nom nom nom. Kijk hoe groot die keuken is though. Wow. En we gaan hem waarschijnlijk niet eens gebruiken. Wat even. Oh my god, I still can't believe it. Kijk, ik wil maar children's items doen. Ja, rom romantisch. Ja, <laughs> inderdaad. Is het wifi code? Oh ja, de wifi code, dat is heel belangrijk. So, I just changed my clothes. I'm wearing my You Know Nothing Jon Snow shirt right now. And we're waiting for the bus. And then we're going to the tour. And I can't wait, I'm so excited. And my Targaryen necklace for Bianca. Well, wow. Well, the bus didn't show up, so we had to go by car. I'm ready. You know nothing, Jon Snow. We have to look for a guy with a Lannister banner. I never thought I would do that in my life, looking for a guy with a Lannister banner, but... Oh, yeah, I see Game of Thrones walking tours. We should be here. There's the guy with the Lannister banner. So now we're gonna walk five hours in this heat. You had a small tour, which was like two hours, but we chose for the five hour tour because that was for the diehard fans, and I am. So that's what we're gonna do, and oh my god, this is gonna be so cool. Make it. Make it smaller. They pay a lot of attention to details. I mean, they promised us here, you know, another season seven. 
King Robert's bastard yeah. children, so nobody can claim Joffrey throne. I mean, these are real life fishermen's storages. I pretend to be like poor neighbor who slums in the mm -hmm. King's Landing. And the funny thing, those two children, they were killed here, they were brothers and locals. They probably I recognize this set, Sansa and Lord Baelish, a little finger talking. Yeah. Even now, season six, when Jon Snow is talking to her, I mean, he's not the guy to be trusted. He's a sneaky little bastard, solely my English, but uh, they never remove anything, see? I mean, they add a bunch of weird things that don't exist. Very simple. King's Landing is half a million population. If you remember when Stannis tried to attack King's Landing when they used the wildfire, they spent eight million dollars on one episode. I thought this was like, you can't get higher than this. Then Battle of Boston, they spent 10 million. So in season seven, if they don't spend at least 20 million on one episode, they didn't do anything. It's enormous amount of money what they spent on CGI, some things like Joffrey. And these are our city locals. I mean, I know they pretend to be like nobility because this is a small town, it's 43,000 people. So this boat was a CGI. And one of the guys who was pushing the boat, he was actually my chemistry teacher from high school. <laughs> and this guy can get like really loud if I couldn't get the element right, always, you know, yelling at me. So I was very happy seeing him, you know, sweating like a pig on this side, pushing some small princess back to Dorne. Okay, easy like this. Because there's a sun there. Sorry, I can't control the weather. We're having a nice time. So Tyrion, he was situated he had an apartment inside the old city. So he's the same guy in real life like he's in the show. Soldiers talking about Lord Baelish, about Tyrell, the new dynasty running to the city. Did everybody watch everything? Yes. Yeah. All season six? Yes. Well, one of my favorite scenes because he's always tried to be smart pants, you know, when they surround him. He says power is knowledge, he says power, power, just put a knife onto his throat. Don't get me wrong, I think Cersei, Jon, Daenerys, all of these guys, nobody knows how to play Game of Thrones. The only guy who knows him on Westeros, Lord Baelish and Varys. Now he's on different continent. These are the only two guys who have all little bros, all spies, they're, they're making everything behind the scene what's happening. But what she says is really hot. So early in the morning, like nine, Thailand has been filming so people can walk through. Because this is close for the public area. We have two set of walls, the upper ones and the lower ones, where nobody's allowed to go. So usually they chose this place. Or they film early in the morning or late in the evening, try to avoid all the people in some place. The walk starts there. She's climbing all the way up to the hill. And all of a sudden, she teleport herself to that round fortress, the big one over there. So that's the house of the undying. And for us, it's like, you know, that's not possible, but see the people who are trying to get into the city. That was the place where the mountain was ringing with those poor Boston, you know, chopping them one by one. So it's easy for them to film on this location. They added this, you know, because of the fate of the seven, but this is real. The, the banners, the crops, the people, they CGI this. I mean, he's an amazing actor, but the worst character ever. Yeah. He managed Horrible. the entire world hitting him after 20 seconds of screen. Yeah. That's a rare talent to have. And what the funny thing is, I mean, when they shoot something, for example, over here, fortunately, they're already dead. But see the houses. This is 20th century when they film it. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't CGI anything. It's just perfect as it is. Bron, I think he's the only honest guy in the show. You know, I know he's the mercenary, but he always says what uh, runs his mind. You yeah. know, he's always being upfront. And Podrick, ah, he's all girl's favorite guy. I won't tell why that way, but when yeah. Joffrey died, yeah. This is awful. Somebody dies and everybody's happy, you know, opening <laughs> champagnes. And then after standing him for 32 episodes, which is way too long, so it happened over there. See that little park? Down below, there are not many people because it's hot. In the middle, yeah. you see a little pond. So I took this photo before they start to film. So they add the fountain, yeah. they add the red carpet, you know, the banisters and everything. So afterwards, you just add the people. You can have the purple yeah. wedding. This was one of the biggest scenes where they're filming. You no, know, about 400 extra was there. Not surprised George Martin killed Joffrey. I mean, every wedding that he ends up is like rape or slaughter. I thought like at least five people will die. You don't have to do any CGI. And how she looks at him. I don't think it's a love thing. What do you think? It's a love thing or respect or... This was the scene where Joffrey was coming home from the tournament name day and somebody throws, I won't say what, at him. Oh, he yeah. starts screaming, kill them all. Mm -hmm. It was a really good scene, but the problem is, 25 seconds on screen, it took them 15 hours to film. 
because the problem is you can't close the entire you know all day this part of the city so you close it down you're gonna make a break so you let 2,000 people walk through the set so you can see somebody you know playing blackberry somebody you know drinking water then they film again so it was really really exhausting so what Benjo did after you know 15 hours of filming look at Joffrey imagine he's your prime minister and our prime minister was in jail for taking a bribery nobody liked the guy you want to kill him you want to rip him off so they start filming because it was one of the best scenes you know everybody starts screaming hitting each other on the screen cut Locals don't hit the main actor so hard, they will sue us in that way. But this is a good setup well, from this thing or about. Sometimes they can't close, sometimes just, just, just close the entire city down. It depends on scene from the scene. That I tempo flying around with X Wing, which is really cool in that way. Back then, we were making water here with canals and aqueducts. But in some of the last feet, you can easily break the thing, the poison, the water. So, what came in handy? Our rooftops. Star Wars, I love it. So, they used that fountain for Star Wars. I know they filmed here a little bit for that, but I didn't know it was here, so this is so nice. We're going on a Game of Thrones tour and I get my other fandom, it's amazing. Those crazy fights of the seven, remember taking the high step priest out? Again, guys, this was normal. Back in that Middle Ages, very simple because also one of my favorite, this guy, Prince Oberyn or Red Viper. Yeah, he was really cool. So that was normal, like, let's go get a cup of coffee, you know, like, let's have a beer. Yeah. That's why I'm sweating. Yeah. This is usually, I mean, the brothel house, the entrance. Uh, the inside of shooting in Belfast studio. But even in the Dubrovnik Republic, which is really cool, in the Middle Ages, I'm 32, but I didn't get a wife in 33. They were forced to marry me. And that super annoying lady screamed the shame for thousands of times. You know when her agent called her? Well, there's one job you need to do. What I need to do? Just say confess the shame for a million of times. Okay, I can do that. But you know she didn't do the walk, Leanna or Cersei. They had a body dubber, they TGI the head on the body dubber. Double reason for that, first, she's a star, so you need to pay a lot of money. Second of all, she was pregnant in her private life. I mean, it's everybody's dream, you get paid and do nothing. Yeah. But for them, close it down, 10 bars, 15 restaurants, they spend 4 million dollars, it's pocket money. It's what I spend on coffee. Budget 80 to 100 million dollars. That's why it's the biggest show now on planet Earth. Because if somebody films this and it goes online and this is season finale, you know, her doing the walk, you will get your ass sued for big time. What they did when they're filming now Star Wars, somebody was inside a house filming. I think this guy is on you know, course. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So a lot of these things leak out. And if notice everything is the same. I mean, they added this hmm. because this is the end where they live and all, but perfect. These are sores, you know what happens to people if you don't tip. <laughs> so who said Jon Snow? You, right? Your favorite character? Long call. Don't be afraid. I mean, with this, everybody will be afraid of you, so. Jamie, no breaker. Okay, one second. I told you to Wait, combine go this with right. armor. Uh, yeah, but Jamie lost this hand. Okay, I won't be petty. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> I told you if you combine this with armor, 30 kilos, and these swords are heavy, it's not easy to film in that way. Or you can do it with a needle. You're uh -huh. Shame. <laughs> or you can do that with her because she's like a star for You can also hit her. Shame. 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 I hate you so much. You wish that you get a and get a Yeah. Oh, sorry, that was Netherlands. I have an app on my phone where you get the shame bell, and she hates me for doing this constantly, and now I get this bell. <laughs> she hates me. Shame. Ah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's from the first time you look imbecile. There was a lot of problem with it, so a lot of the actors will get hurt because when you do this, if you miss, you will, I can't say chop off your finger, but yeah. Yeah. that way it's yeah, hard. Guys, this is a long cloud. I'm holding it. Yeah. So one of those guys for watching it show after show, it's 5 in the morning, you have to go to work, 6 in the morning, your eyes are like... But the problem with me, I watch HBO Europe, and HBO America is like 
24 hours difference. So. Uh, finally, yeah. after six seasons, she finally got the bowl, so we will see some action. This is the King Spice Palace. Yeah. Remember the chubby guy? Yeah. I mean, That's she got insane. all the bowls in the world. Oh, from this scene, you can see it like this. But it's a funny thing, I mean, this is Essos. This is a completely different continent. And she's trying so hard to get to King's Landing. All she has to do is walk to this gate. So she'll be there. I don't know why she would, you know, try to you know, get all the boats. Even Sir Jorah and Tyrion, you know, it took them like, what, one night to battle it. And the funny thing is, so you see the statue? This guy was the wealthiest guy in the 7th century, the Bronik. The amount of his money, what he left the Republic, is about 1.2 billion dollars now in this age. And so it was for everybody who doesn't have money if they want to get married. For, for 250 days there was this trust fund. If you don't have money, you can come here and they will give it to you. So you can start a new life. And when the guys at the Game of Thrones heard of that, they leave him here as a nice thing. You know, as a respect. So he's like the only real guy, like not the made up guy, like a fictional one that live here. Yeah, but then again, imagine here it fits 30 people. There is no electricity. Of course, everybody's pissing and doing whatever the hell they do in that way. Just some money you have. Mm. Yeah, 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 <laughs> they locked us up. We're never gonna get out of here. <laughs> See, the roof so you can watch the stars. Yeah, Emilia Clark walked there. Okay, there. Okay. We walked there too. Yeah, I So I told you inside you have, you know, Angela Merkel, you know, present the bomb. Dragons are a metaphor for the Turks people, you know, like the Muslim and everything. Again, one of my favorite buildings. I could splash in front of Cersei and saying, I'm a Lannister. I won't repeat what he says. That was like a really bad thing what he said. That guy was paid 900 pounds for one roll. And all the girls were naked in the show, 450. So for the HBO, guy being naked is more double than a girl being naked. That's a little bit of discrimination, if you ask me. And again, they took him from London. They even bought him a plane ticket. Because I told you, this is a small city, everybody knows everybody. And all the girls who are naked, they are not from here. They are strippers from the splits. We had to remove all the electrical, of course, 21st century. Four or five in the morning, when the first sun comes out. Because up there is one of the entrances to the city. So can't block the city. So they got here at 5 in the morning, they do the scene, two hours, and then they leave, like nothing happens. That's why I told you get early in the morning, nobody's around. It's a nice door if you look at it this way. But they have to return everything to original state. And you can't break the statue. Let's say this guy, he's our protector of the city. So what do you do? Very simple. You add a little bit board, cover him up. The banisters are real, the people are real. This is, of course, CGI, but... And again, they just add things they never remove. One of the guys, one here, one of the nearest personal bodyguard, he's a friend of mine. He's like a construction worker, like a physical manual. The real bar fight, you know, he got, and he's losing one teeth. This is his real beer. He can't speak any English. I mean, he's a construction worker. So I was him at the set. Usually, when they say left, he will turn left, he will turn right. I think this guy saw spot or something like that. But they hard them because they look tough, you know, they're the nearest personal bodyguards. Now, the problem is, I got the permit because I work for the city to see everything with the film inside. But when they film something outside the city, like over there, I can't go. Right between the mountain and the red viper that's happening over there. It's my favorite beach. Don't get me wrong, sometimes there are just too many people. So I go there to swim. So I went there one day with a towel, a couple of beers, and what it happens? Usually what I say to people, you can't pause. They wouldn't allow me to go through. I'm like, piss off. You know, I've been swimming here all of my life. I went all the way down to the rocky part, find my favorite spot, nice sunny day, lay down, and all of a sudden, who comes in? This guy. You can't imagine the size of the mountain. It's something like, okay, let's say you're me, and I'm the mountain. Come here. Just like this. You can add two more heads and two more bodies, you know? He went there, he's like, can I have a beer? I'm like, look at the size of you, man. You can have all the beers in the world. They're not allowed to drink or set. But he did all the stunts. This guy, Prince Oberyn, or Pascal, the Red Viper, he did nothing. I know it looks attractive on screen, him doing everything. They had a Wushu master. Wushu is a Chinese martial art with spear. So this guy stayed in shade, drink lemonade, took all the glory. <laughs> Hello. 
Fabienne, we're in heaven. So we're on a little break now, and that guy is really nice. He's playing our drinks right now. And first we were with eight people, and now we're the only ones left because we were the only ones who booked the ultimate tour for ultimate fans, you know. So now we're the only ones, and we're going with a minivan. We're going to High Garden, I believe you said. We're going to High Garden. Awesome. And now we're discussing all kinds of theories, and it's amazing. I love it. And that game of Thorn Shop, I was in heaven, literally. But then I looked at the prices and I was like, I can buy this three times cheaper on the internet. So I didn't buy anything, even though I really wanted to. But I know you can buy it on the internet, it's very cheap. So I'm not going to do that, sorry. Jongens, ik stap Pokémon Go op. Kijk dit. The, the good life. Oh my god. The, this is amazing, I love it. As you took an oath to get this dark is going to protect Arya and Sansa. And Arya just appeared nowhere to be found. Or the film over there against Cersei with a... I kind of like him. Sorry for the guy. I know he's gay. I mean homosexual, I'm not trying to be offensive. I mean, but he was one of the best fighters in Westeros. Yeah, but he was born in the coast of Arma. Tyrell family is like the flower, so... I mean, they get married, which is like a really weird thing in that way, if you remember talks you know a lot of these episodes I think 10 or 12 was all happening here and even they offered them to go in a hotel but they said no so they rent this one house you know, like no air condition nothing so they just want to stay here because after you know it's done with the filming they will say he's staying here you can try like this or you can stand there like there so I can take photos the cat is walking with us the whole way oh whoa <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, they're friendly. Yeah. Well, you not many people come here. Remember the first time he, she saved Sir Davos? Yeah. You know, being that at the uh, tournament name day, then he saves her when they killed Joffrey? Unfortunately, yeah. Lord yeah. Baelish killed him, but look at this. <laughs> I have to work, sorry. You can enjoy in all of this. <laughs> Bye. I, I know she knows she's like homosexual. He's like, oh, I want to have a like, nice wedding, 200 people. And he's like, yeah, me too. And of course, that's not going to happen that way. Yeah. What are she taking with you? She's like my size, but she's way bigger. Funny because it's easy, you don't have to CGI. I mean, this is modern, the concrete. So what you do, see this? You cover it. Simple enough. I mean, you have to take all of these, you know, just to cover it. They're nice. Or if I hit one, I can take it home and eat it. No, I'm just joking, okay? <laughs> perspective of the city I mean we were all the way down and walking for two and a half hours but this way oh the ship that I told you about oh, I yeah. think they're gonna use this you know when the nurse is getting here they have three of these so it's a cool one they're the same one like they use in a in a show well, that was the first quarantine in the world quarantine is in English World, but it comes from Italian that means 40, 40. You know, back then you had a lot of leprosy, you know. Now I'd love to stop, but if I stop, there's a scooter behind me, so we'll, yeah. so he will yeah, bump into us and then it'll be a problem calling the police and have to <laughs> explain. It. So that was the Game of Thrones tour. I think it was amazing. What do you think? The same. Oh, it was so good. And the tour guy was so 
nice, but it was really awkward sometimes because we didn't know what to say and then we just came up with another stupid theory about Game of Thrones and no, it was was really good. Thanks a lot. And the tower you just saw I filmed, that was the House of the Undying, but I didn't say that, I don't know why. So yeah, that was amazing. I loved it. And now I'm going to talk Dutch again. I'm very sorry everyone, but uh, I'm gonna vlog in Dutch. So. I hope you liked it. That was the tour. I loved it. Dus zoals ik net al in het Engels zei, ik ga nu gewoon weer verder met deze vlog in het Nederlands. Ik hoop dat jullie het ook wel leuk vonden. Sowieso, die tour guide was Engels, dus hoe had ik dat überhaupt in het Nederlands kunnen vloggen? I don't know. Maar we gaan nu dus in ieder geval eten. En uh, boh, ik heb best wel honger. We hebben dus vijf uur bijna... Nou ja, ik dacht dus dat je vijf uur moest lopen. Maar we hebben ook heel veel met de auto gedaan. Het was gewoon de eerste drie uur echt gewoon lopen en zo. En toen was het best wel veel met de auto, maar we hebben dus echt gewoon King's Landing gezien, High Garden, King's Road. Oh my god, I can't. Het was zo mooi. Voor een die had Game of Thrones van als mij. Volgens mij wist ik nog bijna meer van Game of Thrones dan die tour guide, want hij wist niet eens de naam van de acteurs. Ik zei een keer zo'n de naam van de acteur en hij wist niet eens wie ik bedoelde, een paar keer al. Oh, oh my god, een baby kitten. Oh my god, die is klein. Hallo cutie. Nee, mag je ons niet. Hallo? Kijk hoe klein die is. Oh. Oh. Iedereen loopt door en wij zitten hier weer als een paar katten sukkels. Wat oh, cute. Oh, I want to pet you. Maar ik ga toch wegrennen dus ja. Wie denk je dat meer van Game of Thrones is? Hij of ik? Uh. Hij weet al die CGI dingen en zo. Ja. Maar die... Oh, daar zit er nog in. Nog twee. Slachtje. Oh, het is een mini Simba. Oh, die aan links van je. Me. Ja, daar. Ja, die zag ik. Oh my god, die vinden we ons niet aardig. Die nee. ook niet. Dat veel. Oh. Ja, volgens mij wel. Hey, dat zijn zwerfkanten. Ik zie ze al blijven. Hoezo dat? Nee, maar hij was dus echt een hele goede tourguide. Maar wist je de namen van de acteurs niet? Ik vergeef hem. Dat is toppie. Echt awesome. I love it. Ik kan er echt uren over doorpraten, maar dat zal ik jullie niet aan doen. Ambulance! Ambulance! Een ambulance. Oké, okay, niet even Oh, Luc, kijk nou, Panda Toys and Baby Shop. I know you love it, just admit it. That looks good. Fabienne en ik hebben hetzelfde, want we hebben die friend goals. Martijn krijgt eten in een zakje. Kan ook. Deze wordt opgeknipt. Oh, het zakje wordt opgeknipt. Nou, dat is toch wel wat uh, fancy. Kijk dit super fancy toetje. Het is gewoon allemaal fruit in een meloen. Of jij niet fris van? We hebben die fanbols alweer. Wow. Speel al. Al spuiten. Of jij nou was dit te lekker? Ja. Nom nom nom, het was heel lekker. Alleen het fruit, wat was het laatste was, het was echt zuur. Gewoon niet lekker. Nee, ik vond niet lekker dat fruit, maar de, het gewone eten voelt wel echt super lekker. We gaan nu denk ik terug. We hebben nog even wat uh, pokestops gepakt. En ja, dan moeten we nog douchen. Ik voel me echt vet plakkerig door dat bezweet. Ik ben moe echt. Ja, en ik ben heel erg moe inderdaad. Het is een race. Gaan wij drie winnen? Of hun? Wie zijn er eerder? Fabienne, wie zijn er eerder? Ik heb dieren. Deze rond op blaf niet zo. Ja, maar hier hebben ze ook geen irritante kippen. Ja, ja. Ja, Fabienne, we did it. Oh, you did it. Dat is eigenlijk gewoon tegelijk. Nou, ik ga de vlog afsluiten. Ik heb net even getoucht, zoals je misschien wel ziet. Ik ging op het toe was super awesome. Dit was echt een hele leuke dag, vond ik. Omdat Fabienne al slaapt. Moet ik zou iets doen. Maar in ieder geval vond je dan... No. Je verpest alles. <laughs> ze slaapt half, maar ze kan me nog steeds uitschelden. Vond je dit nou een leuke vlog? Doe dan een blauw duimpje omhoog. Abonneer geven. En dan was het dit. Doei!